I love this quote by Pierre Teilhard de Chardin. We are not physical beings having a spiritual experience. We are spiritual beings having a physical experience. In Unitarian Universalism and our principles and sources, as I invoked earlier in the service, we also um, affirm and promote a free and responsible search for truth and meaning and acceptance of one another and encouragement to spiritual growth. The source of the wisdom of the world's religions which inspire us to our ethical and spiritual life, as well as my favorite, the teachings of earth-centered traditions which celebrate the sacred cycle of life and instruct us to live in harmony with the rhythms of nature. Most of our principles and sources mention spirit in some way, shape, or form, yet we have no doctrine, we have no creed, we have no dogma that tells us how we are to define these words. And that is why I chose to interview several of our fellowship members for this service. And I'm gonna answer these questions myself for you today. The way I see it, spirit is the animating essence that makes all life alive. It infuses every single thing on earth, every animal, plant, insect, dirt and rocks from the grandest mountain to the most minute subatomic particle. Earth, air, fire, and water are all aspects and manifestations of spirit. And this includes our solar system, the cosmos, the far wide reaches of the universe, all culminating into what Khalil Gibran so poetically called life's longing for itself. And it is because all of this awesomeness, this creation, the immense complexity, the intricacy, the gross expressions of life, I cannot help but know that it is sacred. I revere it as sacred and I hold this sacred in my heart as holy. As for humanity, I believe that at conception, a bit of spirit joins with the sperm and the egg and all those splitting cells through the formation and the gestation are brought to life by that spirit. And then it transforms into the individual soul. And as one who believes in reincarnation, energy never goes away. It just changes. So I also believe that spirit, now soul, brings with it the experiences of its past incarnations. And I think this correlates nicely to the proverbial question of nature versus nurture. And so I have to ask myself, what did my soul come into this embodied experience to, to learn, to do? And honestly, it's what I'm doing right now. As one who's worked in hospice, and I've been with people at that tender time of transitioning, from this life to the next, whatever that may be. I believe that when breath becomes air, our soul also leaves our body and becomes spirit again, taking with it the experiences of that embodied incarnation. 
What I love about this inquiry is that there are as many ways of considering this as there are people contemplating it. And the invitation is for you to contemplate it as well. Blessed be this journey we are on.